Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Hello my dear students and you are so welcome to a new lesson of English Lesson number 8 We will talk about solids, liquids and gases Here in this lesson we will talk about the states of materials in the nature solids liquids and gases so in the nature we can find any material any material belongs to these three groups solids liquids and gases number a Work in pairs. Think of examples from everyday life of solids, liquids, and gases. Solids, we have a lot of solids in our surrounding, like iron, wood, concrete, etc liquids liquids we have also a lot of liquids water milk orange juice lemonade and etc gases we have oxygen hydrogen is co2 carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and so on so these three states i mean solids liquids and gases these three states are the states of any material any material belongs to one of these three Number B, match the captions from 1 to 3 to the correct pictures A, B or C. Number 1, the can is a solid fixed shape. The can is a solid fixed shape. Number 2, the fizz is a gas which fills the space it's N and number three the drink is a liquid the drink is a liquid yes here we we have to match between the caption picture and the sentence we have to match between the sentence and the picture Number one, the can is a solid fixed shape. Yes, like in number A. In number A, we can see a can. Here, it's a solid. Number two, the fizz is a gas which fills the space it's in. Yes, like number C. And the drink is liquid. The drink is a liquid as lemonade, for example. Here we match the sentence number three with B. Number C work in pairs and discuss after that discuss these questions. At what temperature does water boil? Here we talk about pure water. At what temperature does it boil? Do you know the answer, my dear students? I think you know. I think you, you do. You know the answer. Excellent. Your water boiling point is 100 degree centigrade number two at what temperature does water freeze 
here freeze means at what temperature does water become ice also you know the answer water becomes ice at zero zero degree centigrade at zero the third question when you have a hot shower when you take a shower when you have a shower what happens to the walls and windows in the bathroom here we want to describe what happens to the walls and windows in the bathroom after having a shower so have you noticed that the steam from the shower condenses on the cold surfaces of the walls and windows as small particles of water so we can see it drops of water on the walls on the windows on the door why because the steam from the shower condenses on the cold surfaces of the walls and windows as small drops as small particles of water number four what happens to chocolate if you leave it in the sun if you have a bar of chocolate and put it in the sun what happens to this bar of chocolate describe that and why does this happen what's the reason yes i think you all know the answer it i mean the chocolate it melts it melts why because of the temperature because of the temperature number five what happens to water to the water if you leave a saucepan of water pailing on top of the cooker for long enough it vaporates it evaporates it changes to gases yes now you can see the answers you can check your answers you can compare your answers with with these answers after checking your answers let's move to something else now number d the words in the books here we have a books the words in it describe processes where there is a physical change from one state to another state i mean here complete the table with the word with words sorry in the books number one Number one, melting, evaporating, boiling, freezing, condensation. Here we have two columns. The first one has the title getting hotter and the second column has the title of getting colder. Here we have to sort out the previous the previous five words into getting hotter or getting colder. Let's begin with melting. Melting. Yes. Melting. If anything melt so it's getting hotter 
yes evaporating also the same thing and boiling yes so the first three words I mean melting evaporating boiling comes at, under the title getting hotter whereas freezing and condensations condensation comes under the title of getting colder now we have the answer getting hotter melting evaporating boiling and getting colder freezing and condensation condensation now complete the sentences and then complete the diagram below we have diagram we have to complete it first of all we have to complete the sentences number one when some solids are heated when some solids are heated its temperature here mean its temperature or their temperature become high and high they space and become another space here, here we have yes do you think of the answer yes my students when some solids are heated they they melt and become liquid they melt and become liquid so solid solid becomes liquid becomes liquid after heating number two not all solids melt when heated so if you have noticed in the first sentence we have said when some solids we don't say all solids because in the number in the second sentence we can see not all solids melt when heated yeah so no not all solids melt when heated why because some become some of them become gas gas and this change is called sublimation sublimation So here we have two kinds of changes, uh, I mean for the solids. The first one, solids become liquid and the second kind, solids become gases after heating, after heating. And in the second case, we call it we call this state sublimation sublimation now here are the answers you can fill in the spaces with these four words melt liquid gas and sublimation sublimation means sublimation here means some solids become a gas it become a gas not liquid and this change is sublimation number G work in pairs discuss these questions Read the text again if you need to. Number one, which solid becomes a gas when heated? Which solid becomes a gas when heated? Here you have to draw your attention carefully because this solid we are talking about doesn't become 
doesn't become a liquid when heated it becomes a gas have you known the answer oh I think so it's carbon dioxide carbon dioxide so it co2 co2 or carbon dioxide number two which molecules break away from the liquid during evaporation which molecules break away from the liquid during evaporation yeah the molecules near the surface of the liquid so the molecules which are near the surface of the liquid break away from the liquid during evaporation number three what gas does wa does water produce when it boils what gas does water produce when it boils so if we boil water there is a gas emitted from this process and this gas is yes water vapor water vapor number four explain how sublimation or subliming sub is a two-way process explain how sublimation is a two-way process yes sublimation is a two-way process because the same word here is used for the change from a solid to a vapor and from a vapor to a solid so here the change focus my students with me here the change from vapor to solid and the change from solid to vapor is sublimation so sublimation here is a two-way process and here are the answers number one carbon dioxide its form in chemistry is co2 number two the molecules near the surface of the liquid number three water vapor this is the name of the gas which emitted after heating the water water and finally the same word is used for the change from a solid to a vapor and from a vapor to a solid Dear students, now we can finish our part, our lesson, lesson number eight about solids, liquids, and gases. Focus carefully on these three states because they are so important and study a lot. Finally, I want to say to you all goodbye. Goodbye.